Nightmares in my head, I fear That the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper Okay, so I wanted to speak a little bit about Diddy and Cassie and the case. Um, I want to say that I do believe Cassie and what she said because a lot of people are coming out. There's been allegations with Diddy for a very long time, going all the way back to Tupac and Biggie. Uh, personally, I say this is my opinion and this is alleged. Um, just looking at it, I have always thought that Diddy took care of Biggie and Death Row Records took care of Tupac or it was the other way around where they took care of each other's problem. And we know about his artists who basically say they are not getting royalties, they cannot get their masters, they can't, you know, make money off of their talent and he has been making money off of that. She accused him of abuse, which I 100% believe. There is a video out there, I'm not sure if it was a birthday party or what was going on, but there were people there at the table with him, Fabulous was one of them, and the way he was speaking and trying to dominate the men there, I know it is 10 times worse behind closed doors and it seems like a lot of people are being exposed they never thought they were they thought they were going to come into this business and they would be able to engage in this degenerate behavior and it was never going to come back on them but uh, people are wondering why it takes so long for victims to come forward in this business you are signing contracts and i'm sure ndas are being signed where they cannot speak or they will be sued into oblivion and that is the thing that I really don't like when certain people do commentary on this. They don't think about different angles of this, the legal angle that maybe there was an NDA. I'm sure NDAs are common practice because of all the sleaziness that goes on, not just in Hollywood. But there's been a lot of people coming out. I'm sure there'll be more. Um, it makes me wonder what actually happened with him and Jennifer Lopez and what she may know. Kamora Lee Simmons came out in support of Kim Porter and she said about the situation, you reap what you sow. And I'm sure he was doing the same thing to Kim and a lot of the women that he dated. And then to hear about the drugs, the threatening of other potential partners of hers after she didn't want to be in the relationship, like he can do what he wants with whoever he wants, but the women can't. That effed up mindset, you know, he is no different than the colorless executives that he talked about a long time ago. He is worse. Someone who talked about the colorless execs and the horrible things they do, but then you are 10 times worse to your own people, which is sick, which is why he is reaping what he is sowing. And I want her to percent agree with Kamora. I mean, she was with Russell Simmons, so she knows. And in the article where they are quoting her and talking about what she said, she's dropping gems about Russell Simmons. She's dropping um, gems about Diddy. And after what happened, I mean, she said Diddy um, allegedly threatened to hit her while she was pregnant. And it says, uh, Sean Diddy Combs once reportedly threatened Kamora Lee Simmons while she was pregnant years ago, according to a resurfaced 2004 interview. Simmons, who was married to Jeff Dam recording founder Russell Simmons from 98 till 06, was profiled in New York Magazine, in which a recording executive is quoted saying Combs was nasty towards Simmons. There was a nasty cloudburst when Kamora said something to Combs and he threatened to hit her. 
the baby fat founder chimed in and I was pregnant, the moron. After the alleged incident, the rapper now 54 got down on his knees and publicly apologized. I respect him for being a fierce entrepreneur and I appreciate knowing that everything he does is emulating my husband. <laughs> and that was one of the things that I read and I was like, hmm. So I guess these are two peas in the pod and how they act and behave and what they engage in. The profile has resurfaced amidst the weekly allegations against Combs. As the Post previously reported, singer Cassie 37 filed a bombshell lawsuit against Diddy, her ex, on Thursday accusing him of trafficking, rape, and physical abuse multiple times throughout the years. Cassandra Ventura and Combs have been on an on and off relationship for more than 10 years before their split in 2018. In a federal lawsuit, she claimed the music mogul forced her to have ex with ex workers while he filmed and directed and got off on it. After years in silence and darkness, Ventura stated, I am finally ready to tell my story and speak up on behalf of myself and for the benefit of other women who face violence and abuse in their relationships. And there were a few content creators talking about, oh, she took the money. Why did she take the money? She don't care about the other women. Um, it would take millions to fight through this. It will be a circus with a bunch of clowns in said circus. If she actually went to court, it's telling how he settled immediately. So you know this stuff is true. And I hope other people come out with their stories. Also, when Cassie was rumored to be dating Kid Cudi, when they were not together, um, he was going to blow up. <laughs> Diddy told Cassie that he was going to blow up Kid Car Cudi's car and that he wanted to ensure that Kid Cudi was home with his friends when it happened. And, you know, this was all true. But his defense attorney vehemently denies these offensive and outrageous allegations, whatever. The lawyer is saying that she's trying to trash his image and these are baseless, outrageous lies. When we have heard a lot of weird things going on with him, he can't keep it under wraps anymore. People are probably not underneath the NDA anymore, so they're going to... Um, tell and people are saying oh it's for money you want money Cassie husband is uh, wealthy but no she wanted to put out there some information she wanted to tell what he was doing and the way to hurt someone is to take their money and plus she was owed that money for all the abuse that she suffered and I'm sure the money that she wasn't paid off of her records but I'll go ahead and end it right here let me know what you think about this do you believe that these are baseless claims against Diddy and he's just a record mogul who may be hard on his artists but he's trying to push them to success so he can make money or do you think that he is no different than Harvey Weinstein and also Jamie Foxx has been reported to have harassed. It's just storming right now. Everything is coming out of woodwork. Yeah, drop that comment and I'll see you in the next one.